This is serious. Mm -hmm. God will have this control. My goodness. It's already 6 30 p.m. And I'm having a meeting with these guys by 7. Young lady, are you okay? You look stressed up. What's your problem? I'm okay. I'm not stressed. I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay. You're okay and you're looking like this? Do you know what is time now? No, I don't know what time it is. It's alright. Okay. Come, enter the car. Let me drop you. Just come. Come, okay? What am I doing here? Yeah, what is this? What am I doing here? Who are you? Good morning, pretty. I'm asking what happened last night. What, what is going on? Just because you were drunk. I was drunk. Yes. And you still had your way with me? Because you insisted I should do so. I am not a prostitute. If you are not, what were you doing at the hotel girl at that hour of the night? A friend had asked me to wait for him there. We were supposed to meet up and then he asked me to take a bottle of drink. 
I took a bottle of red wine, but because I was I was still waiting for you, I didn't know when I ended up finishing the bottle of wine. I was stranded, that's why I couldn't go home. That was the reason you saw me standing in front of that gate. Then what happened? I ended up paying the bills myself. I couldn't even settle the whole bill. I had to give them a necklace. So you went through all of that? What happened? You are not far from them either. There is no need saying thank you to you. Really? Yes. You already paid yourself. Oh. Please help me. I need to go home. It's all right. Uh, let me drop you. Can I? Why are you calling me? Don't you ever in your life call this line again. My goodness. So this man purposely did not show up at the hotel yesterday. understand what is going on. I've been having constant morning fever these past few days. And it's becoming abnormal. What's going on? I thought I treated malaria three months ago. I think I have to get to the lab to run a test. I have to stop the self-medication.
Uh, young lady, what is it that you wanted to discuss with me? Um, I I'm sorry to ask, sir. What's your name? My name is Kevin, and you? My name is Carol. Caroline. Okay. Okay. I know what I'm about to say might, might sound very awful. But it's, it's real, sir. <laughs> you... You've not said anything yet. Um, I'm pregnant. You are pregnant? Yes. Meaning, I don't understand. I don't get it. So you're responsible for the pregnancy. <laughs> you are pregnant for me? How? Uh, <laughs> look, young lady, I'm not here for a joke, okay? Don't tell me you are pregnant for me. We just, uh, we just had it once, just sir, one time. That once yielded a fruit. I know what I'm saying, sir. Please. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you are sure I am responsible? I, I know what I'm telling you. I, I swear to you, I've not, I've not had anything to do with any man in the last six years. Don't spare me all that trash. You're telling me for the past six years you've not done anything with any man. And you just did this once with me and then I'm pregnant. Look, let me just tell you, young lady. If you know who is responsible for your pregnancy, you better go and meet that person. Sir, there is no other person responsible for this pregnancy. You are... Now get out of my car. Get out of my car. Out! Very smart to get myself out of the situation. Actually, what really came over me that night? What if that lady was HIV patient? Anyway, I was simply carried away by her beauty and her fresh skin. Well, that's what they get for sleeping around. Okay, so, yes, just give me like 10 minutes, I'm on my way. Yes, I'm the one that called for the, for the room apartment. Yes, yes. Okay. Not in 10 minutes, I'll be there. All right, thank you.
besides this pretty little angel growing in my tummy. This is another great achievement I am proud of. And I'm proud of myself. I just thank God I saved up money for my little son. How would I have done this? Thank God. Thank you. Love, man. Oh, customer. Yes. Uh, after you. Uh, I want to buy this. Oh, okay. How many you want? Just one, just okay. one. I beg you go come back for change. I don't get change. Oh yeah? no, well, I should next time. All right, thank you. Eh? Thank you. Uh -huh. Worry is one thing I hate. I don't want to get involved with this. How come I find myself in it? My God. It's like my whole world is crashing down. What do I do? God. Help me. Help me. You are the only one that can save me from this situation. <sighs> My pretty little angel is back from school. So tell me, how was school today? Fine. Hmm, fine. Tell me you're hungry. I know you're always hungry, so? No. No? What did you eat in school today? They gave us yam and excess today. Oh, they gave you yam and excess and mommy hasn't had anything to eat since morning. <laughs> that was a joke, so come and tell me. So? <laughs> I hope you learned something new in school today. Yes. What did you learn? Hundred times and units. Hundred times and you need that your mother is not on a load though. I know what that is. <laughs> so what you do now, you go in, take off your uniform and take your bath. Okay? okay. And then come back here. And your homework. They gave you homework, right? Yes, ma'am. Good. So run along. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for giving me such a beautiful and brilliant daughter. And my shop is doing well too. <sighs> oh, Eva! How are you? Fine, sir. Uh, please, I'm looking for a lady by name Caro. I uh, sometimes I drop her at the gate and she entered here and she's fair in complexion, average height. Caro. Uh, do you know her? No, there's no anyone bearing that name in this company. I, I want you to think deeply. Y you might know her. No, I don't think so. Unless she was once living here and maybe packed out. But let me confirm for my fiancé. Oh, please do that. Okay. Do that. Hello? Uh, hello, honey. Good afternoon. Uh, please, is there any lady bearing the name Caro in this compound? Uh, they said she's fair. Yes. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, uh, what did he say? No, she's no longer staying here. She has oh my God. Hi, thank you very much. 
I look at what I've gotten myself into. My, my, my whole life is messed up. Where on earth will I find her? And I need to see her. Hey! Oh, this is a very costly mistake on my own side. Okay, okay. My little pumpkin. Listen, I have to go now. I hope you can take care of the shop. Always, mom. Always, mom. That's very smart. I have to get to the bigger shop to see what is going on there. Okay? But, mom, yeah. can we not go together? That shop is bigger. Listen to me, my angel. That bigger shop you see broke out from this little shop. I have to continue to water this little shop so that it can grow branches. And all this investment I am putting together is because of you, my pretty little angel. Okay? Yes, mom. Very good. So, you need to take care of this little shop so that you can also take care of the bigger shop and the bigger shop and the bigger, bigger shop. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'll leave you now. I'll make sure nobody cheats you. Take care of the shop. Be wise. Hmm? Okay. I'll see you soon, my darling. Okay? Bye. Don't let anybody cheat you. Watch our small shop. Wise. I'm alright, I, I just want to relax. Okay, Father. Uh, but then I'm going to be needing your help later today. I mean, some investors are coming through. So I would need your piece of advice in, in, in a way to carry them. So the early, the better. I know you can handle it. So go do your job. If there is any need to call me, do so. Okay? Okay, Father. No breakfast. No, 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 I'm fine. I'll, I'll take breakfast, maybe coffee in the office. All right. All right, fine. Have a nice day. Take care of yourself. of all people I finally ended up as a driver a worthless driver not even exalted driver look at the way this boy of yesterday insult me talk to me anyhow take me as I'm nothing oh God what is all this please Give me the strength, the grace, the patience to bear with this boy.
Alfred. Yes, ma'am. I want you to go to Alpha Bank. Because that lady that came here as a marketer has not been picking my call. All right. Um, when I get to the bank, what do I do? Go and verify if actually she is working with that bank. All right. Okay, going good. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, fast. I have a lot of work to do here. Yes. Actually, I sent Alfred to go to Africa and check if uh, that lady is actually working with the bank. Do you know what? He said nobody is very such a Yes. Don't worry. I will take care of it. She she thinks she she she, she has succeeded. I will deal with her. Don't worry. Okay, you're in the office. Okay. We'll talk later. Alright, bye. Let me do one or two. I Good morning, Donald. Yeah. You asked me to follow you immediately. Yes. Um, did you get my mail last night? Yes, I did. So, tell me about the company's percentage. Well, their percentage is very, very okay. It's favorable. You're going to favor our company so much. Wow. Yes. So, we should go ahead with the investment? Yes. Because we're talking about percentage here. With the kind of percentage they're going to give to us, I believe that carriage company will benefit so much from it. Okay. It's all right. All right, ma. And uh, one more thing. What? Their company will be so glad if we invest in their company. It's okay. Okay, ma. All right, thank you very much. Good morning, Father. Good morning, son. You're ready to go? Oh, yes. Uh, even later. How was your night? It was okay. How are you? Great, Father. So, there's this new company I discovered. Eh? I think um, it will be very good if we partner with them. Oh. Okay, so what's the name of the company and what do they do? Carish. Uh, but it would be preferable if you browse them, Google them and see what well, they do a whole lot. Haulage, drainage, construction and so, so, so much. So just check them out. Oh, that would be good. <laughs> You're doing a good job, son. Thank you, Father. <laughs> All right. All right. So see you. All right. Take care of yourself. What is good about this afternoon? Are you sleeping on duty? I, I, I'm sorry, I just slept off. I am sorry. Look, Mr. Man, if you're no longer comfortable with this job, you just say it. Okay? How can you be sleeping on duty? I, I'm comfortable with my job. I, I'm sorry, I just slept off. Please, forgive me. I, I, I am very sorry. I'm very sorry about that. Please. Please. Try and be competent with your job. I will not warn you again. Come and take me out of here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Try and listen. Good morning, 
morning. Uh, he called me. Yes, I've not heard from you. Oh, okay. Um, for now, I don't have any information about that, but I'm still on it. Okay, don't worry about that. Um, I sent some files to you. Please treat them immediately, okay? Okay. All right. Hello, Alfred. Come to my office now. Be fast, be fast about it. What kind of wickedness is this? What have I done to deserve this ill treatment from these people? Look at the way they insult me. I do my job in the way that they will not complain. Still they complain. What else will I do? <laughs> Let it not be that this is Nemesis. Um, Alfred, talk to me. All right, ma. Um, the owner of Manad Company is Mr. Leonard. Okay. And uh, he met his son, the CEO of the company, just a few months ago. The name of the company was gotten from Mr. Leonard's and his son's name. Oh, yeah. oh that is good. Uh, do you by any chance have the photos of these people? Mm -hmm. yeah, no, but if you really need it, you can do something about it. I don't worry about that. I'll take care of it. Right. You've done well. Thank you, Thank you so much. You can go back to your work. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thank you. Donald, how is she surviving without a boyfriend? Because if I can remember, since I was employed in this company, I've not seen any man around her in the name of a relationship. <clears throat> That's how she trained herself. Yeah. Hmm? She's a wonderful lady and she respects everyone around her. Mm, 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 mm. You're right. You're yeah. right. I've not seen such a lady before. Abby? Even her workers mm. are saying the same thing. Mm. But still, don't you think she needs a boyfriend? <laughs> boyfriend, okay. You should be talking of husband, <laughs> not a boyfriend. But come to think of it, we are not her guardian. Mm? We are not to decide for her. She's an adult. She can take care of herself. Mm. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say you're not right this time. You're right. You're right. Uh, but still, we can still uh, remind her of that, you know, too much office work has taken up her feelings and thoughts. Hmm. We need to remind her, me and you, we are remind our madam yeah. to have a boyfriend. Have you seen your reasoning? Mm -hmm. Have you seen? Let me tell you, I will do no such thing. And I will also advise you to mind your business and mind how you talk as far as garage company is concerned. That is only if you want to stay long in this company. Uh, 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 no, no, no. My hands are up. In fact, <laughs> advice. Accepted. For your own good, though. Accepted. Mm. <laughs> and now I want to know this thing. Don't take beer now. <laughs> Don't let me continue with this for my heart. Was that a care from Alfred or an interest over something? It's not as if I don't have feelings. But guys do wonders these days. My daily prayer is for God to bring a man that is interested in my real being not interested in what I have in disgust. Are, are you mad? Are you, don't, don't you look where you're walking? What's your problem? I said, I said I'm sorry. I 
it was just an accident. An accident? That's how you could go around causing an accident just to get attention from men. What? It's okay. Just, 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 just let talk, me I will slap the hell out of What was what? Jesus okay. Christ. Okay. What caused what me? Don't try this nonsense next time. Please. Just let, let, let it be. You can't stoop to his level. Look at him. You can't stoop to his level. Let's go. So, what exactly do you want me to do, ma? Um, I want you to find out who that guy at the supermarket is. Hmm. All right. And um, also go to Madon Company. There's something he will give to you to bring to me. So hurry up, hurry up, go. Right, right there, women. All right. I really need to send this mail this evening. Yes, I. I have. Uh, I've spoken with him, and uh, he is ready to go ahead to do what he's supposed to do. So you don't have to worry yourself. Yeah, yeah, I know a lot of money uh, is involved. Mm. It's okay. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, that's all right. I don't have any problems with the commission. Okay? All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, uh, good morning, sir. Good morning, Kelvin. How are you doing? Yes, I am doing fine, sir. Uh, sir, there's something I want to discuss with you, sir. Go ahead, Amal. Yes. Sir, it's about your son. Uh, the way he talked to me, uh, molest me, abused me, and insult me, I, I don't like it, even without any reason. Uh, sir, I want you to help me talk to him. Even if he cannot stop completely, but let him minimize the insult. Please, sir. Okay. Kelvin, you want to tell me that my son insults you without reason? Yes, sir. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. You know, Kelvin, you are a very, very lazy man. And my son hates laziness. The only reason why I still leave you here is because I pity for you and because you are a hopeless man. You don't have hope. If, oh. Do you want to lose your job? No, 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 sir. I, I don't want to lose my job. I like my job. It's important to me. Mm. Now, get out of here if you don't want to lose your job. Yes, sir. Look at him. And the people in it are so difficult for me to tolerate. If not the good values installed in me, I would have become so less. <laughs> My sweet little pumpkin, I want you to continue to be you. Keep moving forward. Don't ever lose focus. I want you to be strong. Okay. 
But more, I don't want you to complain. I want you to keep being good. But in your private, your personal, your social life, everything in general, everything I taught you, I don't want you to give the devil room in your life. See what I talk about you. You're full of encouragement. I'm not a bit relieved that you've spoken to me. Thank you, Mom. I love you so much. And I love you too, my daughter. I wish. It's okay. Come back. It's okay. Just take good care of yourself. God will continue to bless you, my little pumpkin. Whoa. <laughs> mm. It was only a dream. Well, man, I'm a little bit relieved now. I love you, Mom. I love you to the end of time. I love you so, so much. Alfred, what happened? What do you have for me? Mom, it's quite unfortunate that... What happened? What are your findings? Well, uh, the, the man that embarrassed you at the supermarket the other day yes. is no other person than Marius, the CEO of Manad Company. What? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Are you sure? Y y yes, ma'am. Yeah, he is. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I can't do a business with such a man. No, 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 no. I can't. Um, 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 Ma, you, you see? Uh, I can see you are very angry. You are angry right now. But the truth of the matter is this. This is business. So, I, I think you should forget about your anger and just concentrate on the profit that you are going to make from this company. Their company is dying and they really need investors. And one of that thing, man, Carish Company happens to be one of the biggest investors that want to invest in their company and with high percentage of profit. Yeah, I think you should think about it. Okay, I've heard what you said. I have to think about it. All right, man. Hello, Donald. After your lunch, I want to see you in my office. Good. Thank you. There's something I want to tell you. Okay. There is this man I met at the supermarket. We bumped into each other and the man was so rude and arrogant. But at the end of the day, I discovered that that the same man is the person I would do business with. And I don't think I can I can do business with such a man. 
Please, I need your advice. <laughs> okay, ma, in this case now, I'll advise you going with the business. What? Yes. Try use your business life and conquer the anger. Pretend as if nothing happened. And that will help you build more confidence. And your confidence will overshadow him. Why will get more confused? All <laughs> you just need to do is to pretend as if nothing happened. And you see things move. You're so on point. <laughs> Dude, I think we are going in for the business. That's the spirit. Thank you so much. You're welcome, man. You can go back to your work. Okay, thank you. You both will be wondering why I called you. On 24th of this month, two of you were in a certain bar discussing Irish. Why? It's, it's true, ma. I don't really know how you found out. But from my own side, it was not a very bad discussion about you. In fact, it was not a bad discussion. Um, but um, I'm, I'm sorry, ma. We are sorry. Um, 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 we, we are sorry, ma. Um, I, 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 I was just inquisitive. We are sorry, ma. Do your jobs. Mind your business and stay out of people's life. Am I clear? Uh, thank you, ma. Uh, thank you, ma. Um, uh, it, it, it will not happen again. We're, we're, happen again. we're deeply sorry, ma. It will never happen again. It's okay. Go back to your work. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Kind of eating. How did she manage to know what happened? What are you insinuating? Eh? Donut, she's not a spirit. Someone must have told her. Wow. Argue among yourselves. Suspect yourselves. I did that because I don't want any gossip of any kind in this company. Argue. Go ahead. Look at how you're talking. <laughs> eh? Look at uh, you. Listen to me. I... I am a very matured guy. I don't do those nonsense. I can't even try it. Listen, my salary is okay for me. What I'm trying to say is this. You do not. I'm not just suspecting you, but you do not told her just to get, get, get in her favor. <laughs> As if I am not in good relationship with her already. Be very, very careful the way you accuse me. Don't try it again. If you just ever in your life, in this company, accuse me wrongly, falsely, I will not take it lightly with you. I might change it. I don't like rubbish. Alfred, be very careful with me. Oh. Jonathan, you just said the right thing. I have to be very careful. You must have told her mistakenly that you didn't know about it because you talk too much. Someone that talks too much doesn't know when he will talk against himself. Donald, I know you must have done something. Don't worry, I really take your advice. I have to be very careful with you. Why hold a meeting at home here? Um, because I want them to see that we are very transparent and secondly, that you know we are, we are a very good force to, to reckon with and trustworthy people. Uh, transparency is good for business. Just tell them what to do, but at home and in the office. Okay, fine. Sure, I will. Ma, there is a request from Manat Company. What is it? 
They want to hold the meeting in their house. In their house? Yes, ma'am. Why? I don't know. Uh, maybe they want to host you very well. Host me very well. Okay. You can go. Thank you. What are these people trying to achieve from this? Hosting me in their house. Hello. Yes. Please. I want you to put interest where my PA Alfred is. There's something I'm I'm suspecting about him. So I want to be very, very sure who he is. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Having good business, okay? Bye. Hello, are you lost? Oh, no, no. Uh, you, you're welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. So, my name is Marius Okafo, the CEO of Manad Group of Companies. And here is my father, Chief Leonard Okafo, Manad himself. And my name is Arif Dike, the CEO of Carish Company. And I'm Donald James, the secretary of Carish Company. You're welcome, just feel free, help feel at home, okay? You're welcome once again. Thank you. So, should we have lunch before the meeting or after the meeting? After the meeting, we do lunch. Okay. 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 That's okay then, so let's get started. The document. Yeah, so proceed. This is a clarity proposal. And here, yeah, you can take a look at this. So, take a look at the second segment. You see what is needed to be done. So we are looking at 35% um, for your investment. Oh. So if that is okay by you, then we kick off. Accepted. Accepted. Yeah. Um, I have to do the investment immediately. Okay, uh, that, that's very good then. Then that's all right. Okay. Good business, sir. Yeah.
<coughs> Everything went very, very well as planned, ma. More than we expected. Yes, and he was confused throughout the whole meeting. <laughs> and we took the advantage. Of course. Now my question is, how is he going to pay the percentage considering the amount I invested in his company? That is none of our business. They should figure it out himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm so happy. Uh, that reminds me, please. When you go back to the office, prepare a memo, circulate it to the whole unit. Tell them that we'll be having a meeting tomorrow. All right. Okay? Let's do it. Reprimand me. But if he didn't reprimand me, who will? Mario, sir, are you okay? Oh, y yes, father. I'm, I'm fine. No, you are not. Well, tell me, what is happening with you? Oh, father, you know, I feel bad. You know that saying that it's a small world. Therefore, we should be mindful of how we treat people. I don't know if you can remember sometime when I told you about a lady I met in the supermarket. Remember okay. sometime? Yes, yeah. yeah, so that what, lady, what happened to her? That lady is no other person but Irish. What? I swear she was. But I don't think there's anything to worry about because it looks like she didn't recognize me. Well, what makes you think she did not recognize you? Um, because all through the conversation, she was just keen on you know, what she came for. She didn't really look at me like she has met me from somewhere. No, she recognized you. But she's a very serious businesswoman. Real businesswoman. She does not mix uh, uh, fe her feelings with uh, business. You think so? Yeah. <sighs> that means so. Uh... Well, I couldn't have uh, agreed more with you. Good day, Alfred. When did you come back? Um, yesterday evening, ma. Okay, so how is your mom? Has she recovered? Yeah, she is far more better now than the way I met her the day I went there. Good, good. So what did the doctor say? The doctor said she has a um, rheumatic fever. Okay, it is just an inflammatory disease that is developed from untreated strip truth or scarlet fever. Exactly. Just how the doctor explained it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, it's okay. With her drugs, she'll be fine. She'll be... Uh, ma, please, how was the meeting? The meeting was perfect. Everything went as planned. Oh, glory be to God. Mm. Very good to us. <laughs> yes. So meet oh. our Donald. Hmm? Okay. He will tell you what to do. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Mm. Uh, 
how are you? I'm okay. And, and you? I'm good. I was just thinking. Thinking about what? Uh, the meeting we held yesterday with the Karish company. You know, we usually give our investors 15% of what they invested every month. But yesterday, you agreed to give Karish 35% of what they invested. And I wonder how you are going to do that. Uh, that's true, Dad. But I want you to know that I know what I'm doing. Okay. If it requires me working more hard to reduce the percentage of other investors, I wouldn't mind to do it. I just can't afford to lose that girl. But uh, don't you think uh, that it's your percentage that brings more investors into the company? Dad, don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Okay? I've got this. And that lady, Irish, she's such a good businesswoman. She made sure that the business was signed, sealed, and she also invested that yesterday. Uh, she didn't want any change of mind. Dad, leave her for me. She's just a woman. No, she's not just a woman. She's a very good businesswoman. Okay. We will see to that. That's all right. Let's go in. Welcome. Thank you. So I came to the neighborhood to do something, so I decided to stop by to see an angel. Wow, you've done so well. Thank you. But please, next time try to call the office before coming. I hope you understand. Sure, I, I understand. Okay. So I've been meaning to ask her. Something has been bothering me for quite some time now. Please ask. Do you have a twin sister? No. That means it's you. I'm the one that did what? Okay. Well, the other time uh, we had a confrontation and in a supermarket. You know, and... Oh, that. Just forget about that. It's all in the past now. I'm only interested in the future, future. That's nice. Well, I must apologize. Um, my driver stepped on my toes that day. It was, it was like a very crazy feeling. So. It's okay. Like I said, it's all in the past. Future, future. <laughs> I love that spirit. Yeah. Okay. In that case, I have to, I have to run along. It's all right. All right, please take care of yourself and don't walk too much. Ah, eh? oh, you too. <laughs> okay. Have Bye. a nice day. Oh, you too. Yeah. yeah. So, what are your findings? Really? Okay, so he actually traveled to the village because of his mom's illness, right? Wow. That means he's a free man then. It's all right. You've done a very great job. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Ma, there is something that is bothering me. I came to tell you. And what is it? Uh, you know, we men, uh, we always have our own way of getting into a woman whenever we want something from them. What are you saying? <sighs> Marius must have thought of the meeting we had in his house over and over again and have realized that the percentage is too high and must have been looking for a way to balance it. <laughs> do not, do not, do not. You're becoming more smarter every day. Working with you alone, man, makes me smarter. Yes. 
I understand what you're trying to say. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, let's go back to the office. Father, don't you think getting married to Irish will be the best thing that will happen to us and our company? Good idea. Good idea, son. And that shows that you are my son. Uh, but how are you going to achieve that? Leave that for me. I'm a man with skills. Okay? Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, sir, uh, I, I want to travel, sir. I hope all is well. Why are you asking him, father? He's not going nowhere. Sir, all is not well. I, I lost one of my brothers, and I need to be in the barrier. You know, like for, for four years now, I've never traveled to see my people. I want to identify with them. So that's why I want to be in the barrier, sir. Please. Do you add value to their lives that will make them be worried about you? I mean, you're as good as useless, so why are they worried about you? Okay, Kevin. Sir? You need to be patient. We have work at hand now, so you cannot travel. Sir, why is it that every time I want to travel, you must bring one reason or the other why I should not travel? Are you questioning me? Look at this thing. Not that I blame you. He can't ask me such silly question. My friend, leave my sight. <laughs> You're asking my friend. That's good, though. That's good, though. <laughs> Imagine them petrus. Nonsense. Where is he traveling to? Does he even have family? I was in a meeting today. We will have a new investor. Really? Yes. And it's a big one. Wow, that's nice. And I, I discovered something about that Irish girl. She is bigger than what we think, Dad. What are you saying, son? That girl has three big companies with different names. Are you sure what you're saying? <sighs> and how did you come about this information? Dad, I got this information from a reliable source. Now, son, if you know the better card to play on that girl, play it. I need uh, uh, such big fish in my family. Of course, Dad. I will make you proud. <laughs> <laughs> this time, I have to disobey this people. This one happened in my family. This barrier, I must attend. I need to identify with my family. Nobody knows tomorrow. What of tomorrow if it is my turn? Huh? I have to go. But the problem is this, if I disobey them and I go, what of if I lose my job, who will give me another job? Hmm? Whereas there are thousands and millions of graduates out there looking for the same job. What kind of kid's life is this? God, please help me. But for me not to go, no, I must go. Whatever that happens, I'll take it like that. Mr. Mario is from Manat Companies on the line and wants to speak with you. Hello, Mr. Marius. Hello, pretty Irish. How are you doing? I'm very well, thanks. And you? I'm okay. We're hearing your voice now. I'm so good. So what can I do for you? Sorry, is that a business call? I just want to say hi and know how you're doing. I'm very okay and also very busy. Yeah, I'm very busy too, but at least it won't stop me from saying hi to a pretty queen like you. You've done well. Please, one more thing. Can I have your direct contact? Oh, my direct contact. I don't think so. I'm sorry. 
you can only have my business contacts because it's only business we are doing. Don't worry, we will talk some other time. It's okay. Okay, Please. thank you. This guy thinks I have so much time to waste. I know where you are getting at and I won't allow you. And even if I allowed you, she won't still get it. But rather, you will lose everything you have at the process. So it's better you stay clear from me. Yeah. Why are you shouting on top of your voice? For over five minutes now, I've been calling that old fool Kelvin, and it's nowhere to be found. Have you checked his quarters? Oh, oh yes, I just did. And the gate man said he hasn't seen him since morning. And I have important meeting by 7.30. I'm late already. Okay. You drive yourself to work, and when you come back, we will sort it out. Drive myself to work? Oh yes, that's the only option. Or do you want me to come drive you? Well, the, the, no, Dad. Uh, you, you don't need to. So that fool traveled when I asked him not to travel? Travel? Anyway, he's going to come meet me here. Okay. Uh, please, since you people don't need my service anymore, I want you people to pay me my three month salary so I can go. So you know we are your boss, right? You know I'm your boss. Yet I told you not to travel. You disobeyed me and traveled. You're asking me for three months salary. I am sorry I disobeyed you. But what I am asking for is not three months upfront. It is my three moons areas. Yes, that is what I'm asking for. And I don't know how I can survive out there without the money. That is your business, not my own headache. That is your business. Leave my sight. Oga, please talk to me. Don't you make reference to me with your dirty mouth there. Get out. Lazy folk. I God. need the money to survive. Get out of here. I don't want to push you. <sighs> Fool. Don't travel. You travel. Because you feel you have, you, 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 you're stubborn. So that, uh, the, the percentage, I'm just thinking. God. Please, I'm sorry, sir. Try, I've messed up your clothes. Uh, there's no problem, no problem. It's just that it will stop me from where I am going now. Oh, uh, please, where are you going exactly? I'm going for an interview, a job interview. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to do now? Uh, uh, there's nothing I can do. I have to go back to my house. Yes, I have to go back uh, to my house. What kind of work do you do? What kind of work exactly? Uh, um, uh, driving work is okay. I'm also a gardener and um, a cleaner. Anyone can go for me. Mm. Walk. Mm. You mean you can drive very well? Yes, I drive very well. I um, drive all right, very please. Well. Uh, can I have your contacts? I'll, I'll, I'll tell my madam about you. Oh, uh, that that would be very kind of oh, you. Please, please, um, please. Zero eight zero. All right. Three three. Okay. Five six. Excuse me. You mean, you mean five six? Zero eight zero. Okay. Okay. Three three. All right. Five six. Yes. Seven zero. Yes. Three four. Three, four. Yeah, my name is Mr. Kevin. Okay, Mr. Kevin. Yes. I'm afraid. Okay, please. Kevin or Madden. All, all right, all right. Uh, is that please, it? Please, I'm sorry. Uh, it's eh? okay. Don't worry, I'm going to give you a call, okay? No problem. Yes. Let me go. Bye bye. I'm sorry, sir, please. What a kind man. Eh? God, kind. <laughs>
Are you out of... Are you blind? Lisa, I'm sorry. It was a mistake. A mistake? How dare you step on my $1,000 sneakers and you're here telling me it's a mistake? I'm sorry, sir. I've already said I'm... You better I'm... be sorry for yourself. Look for something and clean it up. Sorry. Oh, oh, it's, it's okay. Don't, it's not, don't worry. Um, uh, no, don't, don't, come on, don't worry. Uh, life is easy, like that. I mean, there's no problem. Oh, <laughs> Irish. Yeah. How, how are you? I'm very well. Uh, um, you're just a nice guy. You couldn't even allow her to clean your shoes. Oh, my sh No, no, come on. It's not necessary. It was just a mistake. Besides, life is not that serious, so um, we're meant to understand that actually. You're just a nice guy. I see you're here for shopping. Yes, I came to pick one or two things. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Okay. Do you have a good nice girl. Day. Don't look for trouble. Always. Okay. Take life care. is easy like that. Yes. Eh? Okay. Yes. Bye. Yeah, hello. Yeah, please. Um, am I speaking with uh, Mr. Kevin? Oh, you are. You are talking with uh, Mr. Alfred, the man that obstructed your movement the day you were going for an interview. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm fine, sir. I'm fine, sir. And you? All right, sir. Uh, please. On Wednesday next week. I want you to come for an interview, a job interview. Yeah, I will send you the, I will forward the address of the place to you. Get it? All right, all right. You are welcome. You are welcome. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Kevin. Okay. <laughs> Oh, he's coming, coming, Mr. Miles. Please sit down. Oh, thank you, Irish. I hope I didn't come at the wrong time. Oh, not at all. Not at all. Okay. So, what is the business? Okay, um, you see, someone I know actually wants to, you know, sell his company. He's in dear need of money urgently. So I'm wondering if you are interested in buying the company. Miss Irish? Oh, Mr. Maris, I heard what you said. It's just that I can't afford to buy such a property. Oh. Mr. Maris, did you hear what I say? Oh, yeah, yeah, of, of course, yeah, I, I heard you clearly. Uh, okay, that's no problem. I'll just tell him that um, you're not interested so he can look for buyer elsewhere. Exactly. Yes, I can't. So, do you care for a lunch? Maybe stay off from work a little bit. Oh, I would have loved to, but my schedule is so tight. My table is filled with work. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. No, no problems then. I guess I'll have to take my leave. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Bye. Have a nice day. Okay. I know how the mind of people like you works. You can only try, but I promise you, Mr. Marius, you won't succeed. Never. Hmm. This lady. This lady is quite different from others. She is more clever than I thought. She knows that no one is selling a company and she was clever enough to detect that. Bravo. But I need to... I need to work on my cards very well. I mean, I need to make this lady understand me. I need to know her strength. I need to know her weakness. 
I need to do everything possible to win her over. Because if my plans did not work, her percentage every month will run my company down. That is not good for a businessman. What do I do? She's not giving me green light at all. She's almost busy. Okay. Ma, this is the man I told you about. Okay. Uh, good morning, madam. Good morning. Please sit down. Thank Alfred. you. Ma, you can go. Thank you. You are? Uh, Mr. Kevin. Madam. For me. Hey, don't bother. Don't bother. Can you do a walk of the driver very well? Uh, yes, ma. I, I've done it for 10 years. Um, were you a house driver or a company's driver? Uh, uh, madam, I do both. You do both? Yes, ma. So, how much were you paid monthly there? Uh, madam, uh, they were paying me 15,000 naira every month. Okay. You will live in my house and you will be my driver. Is that acceptable by you? Uh, yes, madam, no problem. Anything you say is okay by me. Okay. You've gotten the job. Oh, thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. It's okay. Um, your starting payment will be 50,000 naira. Jesus Christ! 50,000 naira. Oh, madam, you, you are God sent to me. I, I pray that God Almighty will bless you, bless your family and everything about you. Amen. Bless you too. Thank you, ma'am. So, when do you think is uh, comfortable for you to start? Ah, madam, I, I can start now. I can start now. I can see you're so much excited. Yes. You can start now. Mm? You can. You go home, prepare yourself, and start tomorrow. Thank you, madam. Uh, uh, if I may ask, don't be offended. Uh, what time? Um, eight o'clock will be okay. Eight o'clock. It's okay. Uh, I promise to be here before eight o'clock. Uh, you can go. Okay. Uh, madam, once again, I thank you for blessing. Hey. 15,000 men monthly. People are mean. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Alfred, you're welcome. Thank you very much. How did it go? Ah, it went fine. As you can see, I'm very happy now. That lady, she's very kind. Very, very kind. In fact, she has already employed me. You don't yes, mean it. I mean it. <laughs> That is how she is. She's kind. You see, the things I even expected her to ask me, she didn't. She just gave me the job as if she knew that I needed the job. We are talking of Miss Irish. She is different and so kind. So kind, just like you. We, we thank God for everything. You see, all things work for good, though. To what? them that believe in God. Oh, the Bible I, said it. Yes, you see, <laughs> I, I thank God that very day I met you. That you splashed my cloth with uh, water. If I had fought you that day, <laughs> you wouldn't have the mind even to help me to ask me to come and look for a job here. That is God at work. That is God at work. Hmm? We thank God. It's always good to be good. Yeah. Um, yes. yeah. So thank you very much. But, God bless you. Um, when did she say you should start? Oh, <laughs> I even wanted to start now, <laughs> but she said I can't start. I should start tomorrow. So by tomorrow, I'll be resuming. All right, all right, all right. That is okay. All right, um, 
Let me go back to work. Mm -hmm. When you come tomorrow. Once again, I appreciate you. No, God bless you. God bless you. Hey. Bye bye. Hey. Let me go back. Hi. Um, there is this man I employed as my driver. Yes. I want you to do a Torah check on him. Of course. Please don't leave any stone unturned while doing this. It's very, very important. Okay. No, don't worry, don't worry. I will send you his details. You understand what I mean, right? Okay. I'll talk with you later. Bye. I know this man seems sincere, but I still need to do what I need to do. Yeah. Welcome to Carriage Company. Yes, ma'am. My name is Miss Irish DK. Okay. Hmm? Yes, I am the CEO of this great company. Yes, ma'am. And you are my official and domestic driver. You understand what I mean? Yes, ma'am. Good. I don't entertain gossip. And you must always be in your best behavior. Yes, ma'am. That is our number one core value in this company. It's okay, ma'am. Good. Take this. It's part of your payment, your salary. Uh, uh, thank you. Take it to get everything you'll be needing to start this job. Madam, thank you very much. The one in a million. I appreciate. You're welcome. Um you can go. Hmm? Thank you. I'll see you later. Thank you, ma'am. Madam, God bless you, man. Don't mention. God bless you. Welcome, welcome. God bless you. Shakiti Bobo. Everybody, 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 everybody. Make on a join me, they sing you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I own the Hallelujah. 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 Make on a join me, they sing you. Hallelujah. Percentage of cotton since I started doing business. Oh my god, I'm so happy! <laughs> Marius, Father, you need to do something about this. You're right, Father. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best. Well, your best is not enough. The percentage is affecting this company so much. Yeah, I know that. I know. That. Hello? Yeah, it's me. Um, can you kindly pass the phone to, to her, please?
Yeah. Hello, Pretty. How are you? Um, I'm fine, thank you. So I was wondering if we can do dinner today. Please don't say no. Oh, come on, dear. Don't say no. Just this favor. Just this one favor, please. Oh, sure, sure, sure. If that's what you want, fine. Okay, thank you. Wow, she accepted. Oh, well, that's good. Do your best. Do all you can to utilize this opportunity. Of course, Father. Of course. I'm on it. <laughs> what actually does he want? There's something cooking here. And for me to know that my tentacles need to be very, very active. That means no alcohol, and even if there's soft drink there, I can't taste anything because he might spike that too. Yes, I won't. Mr. Calvin! Mr. Calvin! Yes, madam. Mr. Kelvin. Mr. Kelvin. Please, I've told you severally. Stop calling me madam or ma'am. You're too far more older than me. Huh? You can call me Miss Irish. No, no, madam. I can't call you by your name. You are my madam. <laughs> it seems you're stubborn about that. Anyways, um, we'll be going out this evening. Just get ready. Okay? Hi. Good woman with brain and beauty. Hi. Thank God for having such madame. Mo. Hello. What are your findings? Yes. Mr. Kelvin, yes, about him. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Talk to you later. Concentrate on your work, right? Bye. <laughs> Mr. Kelvin was a big businessman. And Maynard Company was an investor in his company. He worked for them as a driver for whole 10 years. And they finally sacked him with holding his three months salary. This is serious. Those people are wicked than me. How could they treat such an old man that way? The worst of it is Mr. Calvin and Leonard should be of the same age. And he joined forces with his stupid son and mistreated that old man. How did it go? Father, I must say, that girl is, is smarter than I am. What did I hear you say, Marius? Seriously, Father. I mean, all the plans mapped out for her failed. None of it worked. Uh, this contract is for two years. But barely a few months now. The company is shaking. Uh, there must be a way out. Father, I'm, I'm not sure that, that there's a way out. Anyway, you put us in this mess. So, you must provide a way out of this. Well, the only way out is looking for more investors. Wow. <laughs> 
This dinner is one of the best dinner I've ever heard. I'm so happy, so excited. He thinks he's smart. How can he play on my intelligence like that? He does not know me. Me, Irish. Mwakaro. <laughs> oh my god. Dina, Dina, Dina. Is next word. Donald, there's a business meeting I want you to attend on behalf of me. Okay. I cannot attend this meeting because I have another business meeting to attend in Abuja the same day. Okay. And um, I know I'm not supposed to send you for this meeting, but I want you to grow in business line. I want you to be a successful businessman tomorrow. Oh, thank you so much, man. I really You're appreciate it. Thank you for having my best interest at heart. I'm grateful. You're welcome. Okay, um, ma when is the meeting coming up? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Um, if you're not comfortable, I can send the manager to go for the business. No, 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 no ma. I am comfortable. I'm okay. Uh, I, I will go for the meeting. Are you sure? Yes, no problem, ma. Okay. You can go. All right. All right. What is wrong with Donald? Why is he acting strange? So how has business been? Not bad, thank God. It's been going on well. Okay. Um, there's this question that has been bothering me. Okay, go ahead. I'm an investor in your company, right? Of course. Okay. Were you under duress when you signed those documents on 14th of March? Miss <sighs> Irish, I really don't understand why you're asking these questions. Has anything changed? Please, Mr. Marius, answer the question. Um, not at all, Miss Irish. It was a business well agreed and properly documented. And your company has not paid my company for the past two months. What happened? You see, Miss Irish, I must apologize for not keeping up with the agreement, but you see, my company has been going through a whole lot um, for quite some time now, so that affected, you know, paying up the, the, the percentage as, as agreed. Don't you think it's appropriate to let my company know about that? Well, of course I did. I, I did. I called one Mr. Donuts. He asked me to call you and explain to you. I, I did. Oh, you called Mr. Mr. Donuts. Donuts. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um. Uh -huh. Jared. Okay. Jared. So, what has been happening around you? Donald, are you supposed to tell me anything? Anything like what, ma? Are you supposed to give me any information from Manard Company? Hmm. No information for now, ma. But uh, what kind of information? 
is about the investment percentage, Donald. There is no such information for now. Yes. Really? Okay. You can go. Okay. What is going on here? Why did he choose to not? Hello, Alfred. Come to my office immediately. Where were you when I sent the message? I was with Donald and Estelle. So when the message came, I distracted him, though it was a bit difficult, but I succeeded. At that point, did anybody call him or send him a message? Yes, someone called, but I didn't pick the call. And the person dropped a message. I couldn't access his phone because it was locked with a password. Um, did you by any chance know the name of the person that called? I uh, know it was just a number. It's alright. Thank you so much. All right, you're welcome. Thank you. All right. I don't understand what is going on. Is she suspecting you? I mean, Irish, your boss. I think so. I think so. That is not a good one if she's suspecting you. You know that lady is too smart. She is. I know. That is why we need to play a mind game on her. Alright? Does she trust you? Um... I recently discovered that she trusted me a little. Yes. How come you know that? Because Irish I know psychologically cannot trust anyone. She sent me on a business meeting in Abuja next week, Monday. Impressive. Yes. Then you just have to keep maintaining that trustworthy relationship. Yes. And keep your eyes open. Yes, I know what to do and what not to do. Make sure you keep all the details. I'll try my best. I promise you I'll work everything out. Okay, more like it. More like it. Marius won those fights. 
dos faz. Good. I need to be more careful. I need to be more careful with this guy. Please, please ma, what really happened? Nothing happened. About the business meeting you asked me to represent you in Abuja. I didn't go again and I don't know why. Donald, calm down. Let me tell you what happened. We'll be having a meeting here on Monday. And there is no how the company sector will not be in that meeting. So I have to cancel your movement to Abuja. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for having my best interest at heart. I appreciate it. There is no problem. Right, I have to go back to my Yes, office. when you get there, try to forward that email to Mr. Ram, okay? Okay. Uh, I will do just that now. All right. Ah. I have yours at hand and you want to destroy me. Mr. Kelvin is so calm. He treats me like a daughter. It's more than eight months he is working with me. And he has not given me any reason whatsoever to suspect him. Can I really trust him? Mr. Kelvin! Mr. Kelvin! Yes, madam. She's good to sit, sit down. <laughs> I've told you separately to stop. Stop calling me this madam of a thing. I prefer Miss Irish from you, okay? I am sorry, madam. Anyways, um, there's something I want to ask you. Go ahead. If you discover that your worker is selling you out to your competitor what will you do uh, madam i will set a trap for him and get all the necessary evidence then i will strike when i ask you this question you smiled why yes because uh, the question reminded me of my past experience I had this kind of experience before. I, I lost the case because I did not provide enough evidence. So it's always good to have enough evidence to avoid had I known. That's why I smiled. Wow. I never thought of this. Yeah. Mr. Kelvin. Just solved some of my problem now. It's my pleasure, ma. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome, madam. You can go and continue with your door. Yes, ma. <clears throat> I think we should stop seeing each other. Why? I told you about the business meeting in Abuja. Okay. I didn't go again. Why? My madam cancelled it. You know I'm her secretary. And also the company's secretary. She asked me to stay back for an important meeting. And finally, the meeting didn't hold again. She didn't tell you the reason for that? <laughs> I didn't wait for her to tell me anything or call me on the phone. I went to her myself. I wish she could say that she cancelled the meeting because of some certain issues that came up. Just like that.
That's gonna only mean one thing.